All right, we're talking about push and pull factors. Push and pull factors are what cause people to leave a place and go somewhere else. First, we're gonna talk about push factors. What pushes people to leave are negative things, okay? They wanna find something better. It sucks where I live. Let me get out of here, because I know it's better over there. Now, let's think of some examples. We, can, we have social push factors where society itself is making you leave okay this is all about oppressive culture if you're living in a place with rampant racism that is targeted against you then you'll probably want to leave maybe if you're a woman who wants to get a better life maybe wants more control over what you can do and say and earn then maybe you'll go someplace with that or maybe you're a person who wants to be able to uh, worship as they see fit, then there you go. Those are things that can push you out. If you have a state religion that is against you, sexism working against you, or racism working against you. Social push factors. Political push factors. This is all about what the government does. Um, is there war where you are? You might want to leave. Is there political oppression? These poor folks were trying to gain some some rights and have a say so, but look, boo. Okay, these guys are chasing them down on motorcycles. The government was not recognizing the rights of individuals. Uh, then you can have instability. Um, what I mean by instability is basically that uh, the government in your country cannot maintain control over the country. Uh, either that means that the government has been switching out every couple years, as in these poor, uh, poor African countries, that's a bad state of affairs we have going on with this many countries having unstable governments, changing constantly. Economic push factors. Hey, maybe you can't find a job. Well, I'd leave. Uh, maybe there's rampant poverty and you want to escape that. Maybe you want a better life for your family. Okay, let's get up and move. Or maybe there's just a high cost of living, like uh, like in California, where there's a huge, huge cost for housing. Uh, it might force people to leave. Environmental push factors are all uh, big, big deals. Here you have national natural disasters, such as this is Hurricane Katrina here. Uh, people didn't have houses anymore. Um, oops, hey, hold on. I had some more stuff to cover there. Uh, droughts. Droughts can be a big issue. If there is no rain for an extended period of time, then the plants and animals that people need to survive on can be hard to find, if not impossible. And then finally, pollution. Uh, this is Mexico City skyline. That's gross. Yeah, you're going to have some lung problems living there. Um, also, more recently, you can have uh, radiation in the in Japan. Uh oh, there's radiation all over the place in the food, in the in the land, and everything, forcing people to leave. Uh, pull factors, yay! These are the good things. Uh, pull factors are what bring people from one place to the place they're going. So these are all the positives. Let's take a look at some social uh, pull factors. Okay, these are basically the opposite of the things that were push factors. Hey, personal freedom, everybody wants to be free, say and do what you please. Then social equality. Uh, I feel like I am equal in this country, so I'm going to go there. My ethnic group is not being oppressed. Social equality. There's social pull factors. Political pull factors can be things such as just having a peaceful place. Okay, the United States hasn't experienced a war in its boundaries for a long, long time, uh, which makes it a good place to settle. Uh, justice, the feeling of justice, that the court system will work in your favor if you have been done wrong. Uh, individual rights can be all about, again, that personal freedom, that the government does not uh, take your, your property. It will not allow people to uh, do you wrong basically. Now, economic rights. Here we have a higher standard of living. Okay, I can make more money and live a better life here. Uh, there are more jobs. Maybe the place is more developed. Okay, it's just a better life economically. Uh, then environmentally, 
Again, less pollution, nice clear skies, no health problems, and maybe a stable climate, which is a big deal nowadays. Uh, maybe you're, you know, just going to be able to predict the weather instead of having huge natural disasters going on. All right, that's it. Basically, in a nutshell, we've talked about push and pull factors.